Hi, this is Mehmed, the editor of Educational Technology Blog. If you've been directed here from my blog, then thank you very much for visiting it. If, but if you've been landed here from any other source, then you can visit my blog at www.educationaltechmed.blogspot.com. Today, I'm going to talk about a very important Web 2.0 tool which we can use with our students again it's called discovery box discovery box is a web 2.0 tool to collect items in a virtual box it allows you to build up an argument or description of an event person or historical period by placing items in a virtual box you can display anything from a text file to a movie you can also view the discovery boxes submitted by other people and comment on the contents now let me just show you very quickly how we can start using this website well you log on to www.discoverybox.e2bn.org once you're in the home page you which looks something like like this you click on start and then you will be forwarded to this page here now to start creating our own new discovery box you come here and you click on change box like this now we have here a set of layers your box can have anything from one to three layers and from one to eight cubes so we just choose the one you want for example let's choose this one a box with two layers and four cubes you can customize your colors here and the texture so that you give it a particularly customized feel once you're done you click on change box and here we are now we have a box with four cubes and two layers here in the tops under this box we have the assets that we can use we can add to the boxes we have images text sounds videos files links PowerPoint PDF and many more so to start using it we just click on images wait for them to load here this part here we have many images here which have been already downloaded here and you can choose your images click on your images and choose the ones you have in your desktop or anywhere in the net or you can just choose images that being given here so let's for example choose some images here let's choose this one we click click on it and then we come here we click add to drawer and we choose for example this one and then we click add to drawer and then we move to add some text here you need to log on to do this one if you have a registered account then you just put your info here and if you do not you need to open a new account with them opening a new account would allow you to save your things and share them with others this is why you need to have one all right now we have opened my account I already have a word document here so you can add your documents upload them from here if you have documents word presentations powerpoints anything you just click on upload and you upload them from anywhere on your desktop or from the net so for example let's choose this one I have here I click on it and then I click on add to drawer once added I move on to add something else for example let's say I want to add some sounds so I just have here the board for choosing the sounds we have here some sounds already been added so you can just go here to your sounds add your sounds if you have something recorded on your desktop or anything you just can click here and add them and upload them or you choose from the sounds being given here for example let's choose a sound like this here and go here and add it so you click on add to drawer good now let's move and add some video let's come here you see add a video and the same thing again you can just 
upload your video from here or record your own it's very quick and easy whatever you do you make sure you have it here and you add it clicking in auto drawer you can also add files a number of files can be added here as I said PowerPoint documents word documents PDF and any other word document right so as I don't have any files here you're just gonna upload your files clicking on upload when it is upload you just click on add to a drawer you can also add links like here you click on links and add the links you want to add here for example a link of a website you like and the title and you click on once you're finished click on add to draw just like before once you're finished here click on click on close so that we go to what we have done already and see the things we have added to our, our books so we just click on close you come here and you click on my drawer so we'll see here the things we've already added you just need to drag and drop for example let's drag this one here this one here this one here and the last one here all right now we have just customized the look and face of our box once you're done you click on preview click on preview to see how does it look you see now this is how our own new box looks like you can have a title here and write a title here and the description of this one all right now you just click on close and save you can save you save your box give it a title and give it a description and click save and there you are having it saved in your account in discovery box i think this is one of the important web 2.0 websites we need to have as educators and use them with our students encourage your students to use them and customize the looks of their boxes and have links words uh, pdfs and things saved there thank you very much for listening if you have any other question or if you would like to know more about the web 2.0 tools that we can use with our students just visit my blog at www.educationaltechmed.blogspot.com thank you and have a nice time